So this is a demo of my astrophotography website that I've been redoing in AstroJS over the last month or so. Uh, this is the uh, first version. I've, I'm like three versions after this now. And my idea was to host this on Cloudflare. You know, I would, I would of course, fix the DNS so that it has an astronomy.com instead of cloudflare.astrov1, whatever. But I started running into cores issues when I was running a fetch using JavaScript in the front end. Um, so like load more wouldn't work. So I turned this into a server side app and everything works, which is great. And I was going to go that way, but I turned it all server side. And then I was wondering if I could run this on cPanel. And then I noticed my web host uh, actually allows Node.js apps to run. And then I noticed that AstroJS also has Node capabilities to run on node and I want to see if I can run this on cPanel and surprisingly I was able to get this to work after a lot of tinkering uh, with with everything and figuring out what the steps are so I'm going to quickly go over the steps here and this is mostly for my own documentation but hopefully it helps someone else and I'll preface this with saying that I just started dabbling with AstroJS uh, less than less than a month ago uh, at the making of this video so so far it's been it's been great um, so if I look at our code here, uh, the main things that we're going to worry about is in our astro.config.mjs file. So right now, this is configured for the Cloudflare adapter. And deploying this to Cloudflare is super duper easy. And I'll keep that as an option, but I branched off, uh, and I'm going to see if I can uh, deploy this to cPanel as a node app. So I'm going to leave this for now, and I'm going to go into my cPanels. Right, so I'm in my cPanel account and I scroll down to software and there's a setup Node.js app option here. If you don't have this and you're using cPanel, you need to make sure that you, your web host enables this. Luckily mine does, including yeah, I can also run Python apps, Ruby apps. This is this is a pretty good web host. So I'm gonna click on setup Node.js app. I already have a version running here, so I'm just gonna leave that alone. We're gonna create a brand new application. Right, once we're here, we want to click on the Node.js version and click on the latest one available. It is 20.18.2 is not the latest Node.js version in the world, but it's the latest one that's available to me here. Application mode, I'm going to do production. I'm not currently looking for node and variable, but I'm going to set it to production anyway in case I need to access it later on. And the application route, I will put um, anything. I'll just do a, a like test app application URL will be test app and the application startup file will get created after we build the app so it'll be in dist server entry.mjs and I'll show you exactly where that is and once this is done we will click on create one thing that I haven't been able to do while this is getting created I'll tell you is that the environment variables I would love to have the environment variables work uh, at you know at runtime but it only seems to work at build time so it's okay uh, I, don't, I don't really care about it as long as it works. I'm just happy I got it to work. Okay, so this is what it is. I can click on open just to see what happens here. We'll get a 503 because there's nothing running here. Uh, continue. There you go, 503. There's, there's nothing here. All right, so now I'm going to go back. I'm going to open that. I open this in a new tab. I'm going to go to file manager. And then in my home directory here, home dot slash nastro directory i now have a test app that was created so if i go into this this is what was created and i'm just basically just going to delete all of this because i don't need it i'm going to bring my own stuff in here um, going back to this app here you'll see that there is a run npm install button here it currently can't run and normally you know we'd be able to just upload our dist directory and just run from that but this is not how Node.js and cPanel seems to work. So we need to make sure we can run NPM. So I need to install the entire thing first. And then later on, I'll be able to just do the disk folder. So going back here, I'm actually going to go back here. And in the Astro.js node docs, installing this adapter is super easy. It's NPX Astro add node. I'm just going to copy that, go here. I'll open up a new terminal. And I'll just paste that in, and they will see that the adapter Cloudflare will get updated. I'll press Y, and then Y, and there you go. So uh, there you go. Adapter is Node. It's a standalone app. Uh, Cloudflare is no longer being used. You can delete that or 
leave it doesn't really matter and that's pretty much all there is the one thing that i will mention that i did is i have a base url so my main site will be at you know nastronomy.com but the base url right now since i'm running it on test app where is the url yeah test app so i need to make sure that this is actually the base url so i have this in a dot env file so this one will be slash dot slash app test app uh, the site url f doesn't really matter for the astro config uh, i'm using that somewhere else um, the, but the base is what matters so oops save okay so i did control s to save you go here mm, sorry i'm going back here so you want to make sure so it'll be the same thing as me doing uh slash test app you know, but I'm using an environment variable that will replace this when I build the app. Okay, great. So now, how the rest of my site is coded really doesn't matter at all. It's just this is the most important thing. So now what we need to do is we need to build it. And what this will do is it will create a uh, dist directory. So I already have something here. So I'll just close this out, um, pretend like it's not there. And then I'll click on and I'll build it. So I'll do npm run build. And it's creating all of this based on my astro config and all right so it created the build disk directory with client and server and i need to make one change here in entry.js and entry.mjs i'm hoping maybe somebody who's watching knows why this happens but it could be like an environment thing but when that gets created under using the node adapter uh, the client and server paths get uh, hard coded here as like my local computers and then and then it doesn't work. So this took me too many hours to figure out that that this is why uh, I wasn't able to run run it on my cPanel server for a little while. But once I figured this out, so after that gets loaded, I don't know what configuration I need to do at the moment to make sure that this gets auto generated or you know maybe makes it a variable or whatever. And but anyway, so what I need to do here is I'm going to go back. So my home directory here is going to be slash home slash nastro slash test app. So I'm just going to do nastro, oops, sorry, home nastro test test app. So I'm going to break this down to show you what I mean. So for some reason, it still needs the file colon slash slash. I thought that was a Windows thing, but whatever. And then there's the directory to the client after we upload it onto our cPanel server, this will be the directory. So we still need file, file slash slash. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of that, blah, blah. Okay, so now we have this. So these are the directories of client and server. So I'm gonna click on save. Great, now that's done. And I can leave everything else as is. So I'm going to open my explorer. So all of my files are here and I'm going to zip this up and upload it to cPanel. I'm gonna select all except for all the dot files. Uh, uh, get ignore. I don't really need it. Uh, make sure you don't select no modules uh, because we're going to generate it on cPanel. I don't really even need README, really. Okay, so this is good. I'm going to click on, I'm going to right click. I use seven zips. I'll do click and then add to zip. So I created a zip archive here. And then now we're going to go into our cPanel and click on upload. And then I am going to click and drag this here and let it upload. There we go. Okay, and then extract, right click extract. Okay, that all extracted. And now I know that in dist server in entry.mjs, the path to that the client and server directories now match. Okay, so I'm gonna go back here. Okay, so now go back to the Node.js application window here. I'm going to uh, reload my page. Then now I have run npm install here. So it's reading the package.json and it's going to install all of the different packages that I used. It's not a lot. It's going to be it's, it's going to be a pretty small amount, but it can take all depending on how fast your server is and while this is happening if some of you are thinking you know like why can't i run npm run build on the server itself uh, so that you know the client and server directories get 
created correctly. Um, that's because uh, this is just how the cPanel, this is how at least the server is set up. I can't run that kind of command here. Even though I can go into a terminal window, it, it'll just tell me that I don't have enough memory to run those commands. So yeah, this is, this is the workaround that I've had to come up with. All right, that took a couple of minutes to uh, run and it's installed. And if I go to my directory here and I reload, now I have a node modules directory here. Great. Now going back here, I am going to just restart the app. I'm not sure if I needed to do that, but I do it anyway. And then I click on open. And the first time, well, that was actually, that was actually pretty fast. The first time usually when I run the server, uh, it takes a minute or so. It looks like in like Node.js is still working, but look, it's working on my cPanel server. Um, yeah, the apps are working. Look at that. And you can see that the context is the same, you know, uh, as, as I said in my, as base, um, about is working. Yeah, so like this wasn't working in Cloudflare. Like I said, I was a few versions behind there. Like everything is working. If I go home, I do have a load more button, just make sure this is working. There we go. Pretty cool, right? So if you wanna make changes to this, uh, let's say I'm going to make a generic change. I have my nav bar here. So I'm going to change the nav bar from home to home one. So I'm gonna save that and then I should run build again. I created the disk directory, so I go here, go back here. This time, all I need to do is zip the disk directory. Blah, 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 blah. Send 7-zip dist. So I have dist, so now I go back to my folder here. I am going to, I don't think I need to delete the disk directory here, but I'm going to anyway. Um, and then I'm going to click on upload. this and then go back to node.js app here I am here in test app right up and then I guess I can restart it from here so, but I'll just go in here and then click on restart and then I go back to my test app here let's refresh oh no what happened oh yeah yeah, so I uploaded dist and I did not uh, extract it. So right click extract. All right, mistakes to learn from. And that's actually one of the reasons I deleted. It reminds me that I need to run run uh, extract dist.zip, otherwise I just forget. And then I did, let's see if I need to restart. It looks like I didn't have to restart the app at all anyway. Just It just worked. There we go. Cool, right? Okay. Yeah, so moving forward, you don't have to do run npm install anymore. It just needs to happen the first time for some reason. I don't know why, but this is just how it works. And as I mentioned, I have not been able to get environment variables to work here. So, um, and since I can run npm build here anyway, it, it probably doesn't really even matter anyway. But anyways, hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and be sure to check out nastronomy.com. For my astrophotography, I also have another channel called Nastronomy, where I know I have been a lot more active than on this channel. I do apologize for that, but it's been a little bit of like a burnout movement for me um, in that direction. But I'm trying to do some stuff here. Thanks for watching.